Oh, they they've um, recovered quite well actually. I mean, we've had a little bit of a longer turnaround now, so the boys have trained well. Everyone seems to be in good spirits. Um, there is a potential cloud over uh, Jovanovic, but um, you know, that's a day-to-day -day process. So hopefully he'll be available for the game, but we'll give him every opportunity. What's the issue with him? Oh, he he came off with um, concussion, if you recall, oh, during okay. the, uh, the the second half. So he's going through that protocol at the moment. And as I said, we'll just assess it day to day. And at the same time, it's a, it's a duty of care. So we have to know that he feels comfortable as well and that he's in a position where he's had enough training under him so he can um, make himself available. But as I said, we've still got a little bit of time, so we'll give him every opportunity. What are you uh, expecting from the Jets, mate? They've obviously not picked up any points, but they've been, they've been pretty, um, I guess, compact and tough to beat in those two games. Uh, they, they, they gave Wanderers as a real fright last week. No, they did, and I thought also that they did um, really well against uh, Central Coast in the first game of the season. So uh, they've been unlucky not to have any points to show for their two outings so far. But you know now um, that they're a very difficult side, particularly at home. They played really well against uh, Wanderers. They've got a lot of experience there, particularly in that back line and, and in goals. And uh, you know their, their midfield three is very, very capable. So we know it's going to be a difficult game for us. Um, but at the same time, we, we believe that we're going in the right direction, we'll keep on improving, we'll look to play our football and then hopefully we can put on a good performance. What do you, how do you, I mean obviously but certainly pretty much all the games you've really done well in terms of controlling the ball mm. and having a lot of possession and stuff like that, but what do you, what do you need to do, do I guess to turn that into goals and get that in product to come with it? Yeah, we need to um, keep creating chances, keep um, you know dominating position, keep playing our football. I think we just need to get better and, and quicker at it, and have um, you know maybe slightly more variation in that front third. But at the same time, you have to understand you know particularly those last two games that we've played, where the the opponent does sit back and the game really gets slowed down. I think the the last two games, the ball's only been in play for, for 52, 53 minutes. So it does become difficult when the tempo's out of it. You've got to remain focused. And at the same time, you're playing teams also that are very good on the counter. So there's that threat going the other way. So we'll just keep working on our playing style, look to get better at it, and hopefully uh, you know, turn those, those chances that we've got in, in, into goals, but at the same time, looking to, to really dominate possession and make sure that it's effective. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say marking him totally, but definitely be aware of him. I mean, Rami is a fantastic footballer, and I was fortunate enough to work with him when I was in charge of the young Socceroos, as as is the Angus Thurgate in the midfield there. And we all know how highly regarded Ugarkovic in there. I mean, that that midfield three is as good as any in the league. So we know that if we give them a lot of time and space, that they can hurt you. But again, we'll go back to our principles. We need to be better in our in our defensive shape and our structure, but that's something that we're working on. So um, you know, we've got a new team and they're still learning each each other, working with each other, working on our shape, on our distances. So hopefully we can get that right because if we do then that sets us up nicely and it's a good platform for us to build on. And just one last one from me, obviously Benya, we obviously saw him start, which is great, it's a sign that he's, he's mm -hmm. really settling in well and um, I think I saw a stat something that, that no one's creating their more chances from set piece play or anything like that. And I mean, is that, is that a, a, something he brings to the team in terms of this creativity? Yeah, he brings a, a lot of creativity and he brings a lot of calm and patience to the side as well. But one thing you have to understand with Benyard, he I think his last uh, full game was uh, November, not last year, but the year before. So he obviously missed uh, uh, a lot of football and a lot of match minutes. He's come to a new country, a new league. Uh, so we're really trying to build him in. Uh, we, we didn't plan to play him 90 minutes last week, but I think the way the tempo of the game went, uh, he was able to still contribute. So he's recovered well and he's, uh, he's looking good at training. So we're very fortunate to have him at this football club. Him and Mark Hill have settled in really well and they're starting to, to enjoy their football. They're really opening up. They're interacting great with the boys. So hopefully we can um, you know, get him on the ball, but also 
look to uh, expand our offensive play with, with him being a central figure. Uh, you, you said post-match the, the last two weeks that we've sort of missed the jump that first 15-20 minutes, mm. is that a, a key area that we need to improve on this week? 100% we've started very slowly, I mean against Wellington we, we couldn't get out of our, our half the, the first 15 minutes, they really pinned us back, uh, so we obviously looked at that, we've analysed it, we've spoken about it, what things that we could uh, do differently and, we, and we've worked on it, so hopefully we've seen improvements, it's important to to start well really on the front foot so that was disappointing at home but uh, I think after that we settled in really well into the game and we had a we had a good spell after that so yeah of course uh, we're not going to be perfect overnight we know that we need to to get better but it's definitely something as I said that we've we've worked on we've we've noticed that and um, we, we look to get that right against Newcastle. During the pre-season we actually had a camp up in, in Maitland and, and played a pre-season friendly against Newcastle mm -hmm. and, and pretty tight contest as well. Yeah, I mean, they're a good side. I mean, they've got a, a lot of experience and they've, they've got some good young players coming through as well. And you never uh, have an easy game against Newcastle, particularly at home. And, and you're right, going back to that uh, that friendly game. Yes, it was a friendly game, but it was played at such a good in intensity. Both teams were very competitive. So we know we'll be in for a difficult game. Sunday, four o'clock kickoff. Uh, potentially with the weather as well. Uh, so hopefully, as I said, we go there, we, we start the game well. We know we're playing against a difficult opponent, but at the same time, we know if we can play our, our style of football, our brand of football, we know that we're a good footballing side. So you know, we're really looking forward to the game.